Hello everyone, this is Akang Suman here. Now we will do questions based on the epicyclic gear train. In the question, it is given that epicyclic gear train, the number of teeth on wheel A, B and C are 48, 24 and 50 respectively. So I am just writing here what is given in the question that is a number of teeth on A that is a 48 and number of teeth on gear B that is 24 and number of teeth on gear C that is 50 okay here in the diagram you can see here this is A, B, C and the arm is connected through the three gears if the arm rotate at 400 rpm clockwise find the speed of the C when A is fixed that means in the first case there is the a gear a which is fixed and then we have to find out the speed of c in the second case we have to find out the speed of wheel a when c is fixed so i'm just uh, here solving the first case in the first case arm what is given that gear a is fixed a is fixed that is given then we have to calculate the speed of c that is the first part of the question. Okay? Now we have to draw the table. We all know that in the epicyclic gear train we are drawing the table in every question. So this is motion and this is arm. Here you can see the A is fixed. So if A is fixed that means B and C will be rotated with respect to the axis of the gear A. Okay because A is fixed and R is going to be rotated. So when the arm is going to be rotated, the gear B and gear C will be in rotation with respect to the axis of the gear A. Okay. So I'm just saying this is A gear and this is B and this is C. Okay. Now we have to first case in the motion. First we, are, we have considered that arm is fixed. In the first case, arm is fixed and and gear A rotate X RPM. Gear A rotate with X RPM. I am considering plus X RPM that means the X RPM in clockwise direction. Okay. So arm is fixed so it is having zero velocity and it is in rotation in clockwise action because I have assumed that it is in rotation with the plus x rpm plus means it denotes the clockwise i am considering plus sign as clockwise direction and minus sign as anti clockwise direction okay so here it is uh, plus x and we all know when the both the gears are in uh, are in meshing then how can we calculate the speed of the b we have to use the speed ratio nb upon na that is equal to ta upon tb okay because the number of teeth are inversely proportional to the speed of the gears. Okay. So here the, uh, the speed of the A is plus X. But here we can get the magnitude of the speed of the B. This is X multiplied TA upon TB. This is the magnitude of the speed of the gear B. But we have to see what would be the direction for the gear B. Since A and B both are mating gears, both are in meshing to each other. So if one is in clockwise direction, so other will be in anti-clockwise direction. Okay. If A rotates in clockwise direction, B will rotate in anti-clockwise direction because both are in mating, uh, because both are in meshing. So if is in, uh, it is a rotation in the clockwise direction, so B will be in anti-clockwise direction. That is minus x t a upon t b okay now how can we calculate the speed of the c because b and c are in meshing to each other so we have to apply the uh, speed ratio similarly okay so if i applying the speed ratio what would be the speed of the c n c upon n b would be equal to t b upon tc okay 
so now nc would be equal to nb whatever be the speed of the b we have seen we will see here tb upon tc that that is the formula so you get the value of the speed of the gear c okay here we all know that the speed of the gear uh, nb is what complete minus x ta upon tb this is completely and since this is in meshing that means if this is in a anti clockwise direction c would be in clockwise direction so i am considering plus sign okay this is x because this is the direction of the gear b and this is the magnitude of the speed of the gear b okay so this is a plus x i am just writing here the speed of the gear b tb multiply here you can see tb upon tc tb upon tc that would be cancel out now in the next case we what we consider that arm is free to rotate when the arm is free to rotate we will consider total motion so if arm is free let arm rotate with the y rpm in clockwise direction so it would be total motion would be x plus y and that is y minus x t a upon t b and it would be y plus x t a upon t c okay so here you can see in the question it is given that that y is equal to 400 rpm clockwise and we have consider plus direction as clockwise i am just writing here minus sign as anti clockwise okay so y is equal to 400 rpm and clockwise so i am just taking it as plus r plus 400 rpm okay and we have uh, in the question in the first part of the question it is given that the gear a is fixed so that means the speed of the a is zero and the speed of the a is zero means x plus y is equal to zero so as x plus y is equal to zero you can get the value of x is equal to minus 400 rpm minus 400 rpm now what we have what we are going to calculate this is speed of the c we have to calculate because in the question speed of the gears is asking so that is y means 400 minus x means 400 this is x means minus 400 so multiply ta upon tc what is the teeth on the gear 48 48 upon teeth on the gear c that is 50 so when you uh, solve this using calculator you will get the value of uh, that is uh, 16 the nc value the speed of the gear c would comes out to be 16 rpm and as it comes out in the plus sign that means it is rotated in the clockwise direction it rotated in the clockwise direction clockwise direction okay so plus sign means it denotes that the gear c is in rotation in the clockwise direction now we have to solve the second part of the question in the second part of the question what is given we have to find out the speed of the wheel a when c is fixed we need not to change the we need not to draw the table again the table is sufficient okay in the <clears throat> in a question it is a same table should be used because there is nothing changes in the you know in the diagram because we have draw the table according to the diagram which is given in the question so as there is no change in the diagram of the gear train so there is no need to be changed in the table of the gear train the table would be same what is going to be changed in the second part the gear c is fixed so in the second part what is given gear c gear c is fixed and we have to find out the speed of the gear a we have to find out the speed of the gear a now see if c is fixed that means nc is equal to 0 okay and what is the total motion of the gear c that is x uh, y plus x t a upon t c so y plus y plus x t a upon t c would be equal to 0 y plus x t a upon t c would be equal to 0 and what is y uh, y is 400 
and x is minus 400 multiply ta is h, h 1 minute what is given in the question y is 400 but x value we have to find out because the x is minus 400 is according to the first part that is a is fixed okay now we have to calculate the x value according to the second part where gear c is fixed so t a is 48 and t c is 50 so from here we can calculate the value at x so i'm just calculating here the speed so it would comes out to be 416.67 416.67 rpm and it is uh, in minus sign would be there okay so that means uh, my, uh, that is minus sign because uh, it, it would be replaced uh, on the other side okay and you will get the minus 416.67 rpm x value we need to find out the speed of the a and what is the speed of the gear a that is x plus y okay and if it is x plus y that means that is minus 416.67 plus 400 okay because y value is given in the question so finally we will get minus 16.67 rpm what is the meaning of the minus sign here minus sign denotes that gear a is in anti-clockwise direction it is having anti-clockwise rotation so i'm just writing here that 16.67 rpm rpm anti-clockwise either you can write with the sign convention or you can write with the direction anti-clockwise okay i hope you will understand the solution of this question again i'm explaining first you need to draw the table according to the diagram okay as you draw the table completely as you draw the table completely you will be able to solve the questions you just have to put the values whatever be the value given in the question you just have to put the direct value in the data that we get from the table okay so here in the question it is given that the arm speed is given that means the y is equal to 400 rpm and we need first in the first part what is given the gear a is fixed in the first part okay so if gear a is fixed that means the speed of the gear a would be zero okay so x plus y would be zero that means you will get the value of x here okay as you will get the value of x from these equations you just have to put the value of x and y in the speed of the gear c that means the speed of the gears is what y plus x multiplied t upon tc that is what we have to find out so all the data we have we have get all the data some of the data given in the question and some we have calculated so we just have to put the all the values of x y and ta and tc in the speed of the gear c that is the y plus x t upon tc and as you put the values in this in that equations you will get the value of speed of the c that is 16 rpm as it comes out in the with the plus sign that means it denotes that gear c is in rotation in the clockwise direction so if the first part is completed in the second part what is the changes is there in the first part the gear a is fixed but in the second part the gear is gear c is fixed so when the gear c is fixed you just have to put the speed of the gear c would be equal to zero that means y plus x multiplied ta upon tc is equal to zero and from here you will get the value of x okay you can see from here you will get the value of x and as you get the value of x you just have to find out the speed of the vlc that is x plus y don't change that don't draw the table again in the second part the table would be same because the diagram is same for the question there is no changes in the diagram so the table is not going to be changed so you just have to find out the speed of the gear a that is x plus y we having we are having the value of y which is given in the question already and we have find out the x value according to the question okay so you just have to put you will get the value of speed of the gear a and that would comes out to be 16 minus 16.67 that we have considered we have assumed that you can we have assumed that the plus sign denotes the clockwise direction and minus sign denotes the anti-clockwise direction on your suitability you can assume that minus sign uh, represent the clockwise direction and plus sign represent the anti-clockwise as you as you assume as you're taking the assumption in the starting you just have to along with the assumption okay you just have to uh, you just have to be careful about the assumptions that you have assumed in the starting so we have assumed in the starting that the plus sign denotes the clockwise 
minus sign denotes the anti clockwise so on the basis of the assumption so answer would be this okay so i hope you will understand the solution of that question thank you